Hey there to my 16 subscribers, my future subscribers, and all the people that secretly watch me without subscribing. I just thought I'd make a video today about um, kind of my background on religion, and um, I don't know why, but I'm doing it anyway, because um, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, growing up, uh, I was born into the Church of the Firstborn. That was my dad's church that my mom joined. And um, it was a very kind of a quiet type of church. Um, I remember making jokes about, you know, you could hear a pin drop because it was so quiet. Um, of course, as a kid, I thought it was normal, sort of. I just thought maybe that's the way some places were and then um, but then I went to my mom's parents up in Washington and they had the most beautiful church you know a huge three-story um, it was a really nice church and I loved going there and it was like complete opposite but we didn't get to go there very often so I actually grew up in the Church of the Firstborn which um, you know it's okay for some people it's, it's not okay for me I had my issues with it and as a kid I never went to church for the reason we're supposed to go to church I went to church because you know that's what I was told to do which I don't know I guess maybe that's the way most kids are. They go because they're told to. And um, so as a teenager, I just completely turned away from any kind of religion or turned away from God completely. I just, I remember as a teenager thinking that the Bible was a bunch of lies and um, like I was convinced, my brother was convinced I really don't know what his views are on it anymore because it's a topic that we don't really discuss. But um, I started searching for answers to just, I don't know, life, the universe, everything in different ways. I um, started learning about Wiccan and Druidism and you know, basically anything that was kind of natural, earth-based, kind of, I don't know, I don't really want to say religions, because I don't know if they consider that really religions, but alternatives to religions, maybe. For some people, maybe even additions to them, I don't know. But, um, anyway, um, I did that you know, from my teenage years and my early 20s. And then uh, when I was 23, I went to jail. And I was in there for about four and a half months. And while I was there, there was uh, this lady that came in. And it was kind of ironic, I remember, because see, I had moved away for a decade and then came back. And um, this lady was the mom to one of my old friends and one of my brother's old friends also and she really wanted to go to the church service there and nobody wanted to go and she kept begging and she actually started crying and I was like okay I'm gonna go just you know to cheer her up and I literally went to the jail church service just to cheer up someone else which I don't know it's kind of probably odd but that's what I did and um Anyway, in the service, I don't know, there was something about it that just kind of um, got me emotional and made me do a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, and I started studying the Bible after that. Um, my memory sucks, so you know, don't ask me where things are, but I kind of have ideas of what's in there. and. Um, and then I, after I got out, I, I met this guy named Rodney, and I was working at a store, this is a craft, a craft store here in town, and um, the lady's name was Gail, 
and she met this guy Rodney at the gas station across the street when she went to get us some lunch one day and found out that he was going fishing every day catching his limit of fish and then trying to figure out who to give the fish to because he wanted to feed people and they set up this agreement that he would go catch his limit of fish clean the fish bring him in and she'd stick it in her freezer and every day somebody came in saying they were hungry so every day we had you know fresh fish for them and like we did that for months and then I ended up in a relationship with Rodney and he didn't really go to church a whole lot we did explore a couple different churches and um, just kind of checked him out see what was out there and uh, but he he talked about God a lot and it was kind of refreshing but um, things happened in, which I, I will get into in another story but um, anyway one day I, I passed up this one road and there was a sign outside that said revival and I sat there and thought about it all day long didn't say anything to anybody just kept thinking about this revival and yeah I went and Gail and I were getting ready to close up her store at the end of the day and she asked me if I wanted to go to this revival that was going on and I was like well you know apparently I do because that's what I'd been thinking about all day so her and I went to this revival and I was just um, blown away about how amazing it felt and how wonderful it was and I started going to that church and it was the um, Modoc Full Gospel Indian Church and uh, it's not you know I haven't really gone that much since the whole COVID thing started but um, I do really like that church a lot and um, when my son was born I continued going to that church and then I also started going to the Seventh-day Adventist Church on Saturdays so I was like going to two services every week and I did that for a while and then I kept going to the Seventh-day Adventist Church which I really liked the, that too and you know the people at both churches were just they were all amazing they all treated me like family and I love them all but um, you know life has had a lot of ups and downs and for various reasons which I'm sure I'll get into someday on air but for various reasons I quit going um, I attempted to go again a few times off and on over the last you know eight years and um, but like I said since the COVID thing I haven't really been going and um, now I'm with Branche and we talk about God and we talk about things in the Bible all the time and we both really want to do what's right and what God wants us to do we want to help people and so that's where we're at right now and um, if you have any questions feel free to comment below and that's it for today thank you let the VIP waiting.